Hi, this recording um, is to help you learn how to use some torrent sites, sky torrents, and also um, extra torrent. Let me turn my radio down here. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. I use torrents to get most of my movies, or almost all of my movies. One of the things that I wanted to show you is over here. It's a um, website that shows uh, DVD release dates. Down here it shows um, Tuesday, June 6th. These were DVDs that were released on June 6th. So I'm going to go down here right here and just select one. So let's say I want to watch Beauty and the Beast. So the first thing I would go to would be my torrent. Um, what's it called? Extra torrent. Um, let me see if I can get it in the video here. The graphics didn't come up. It's supposed to be right. The graphic is supposed to be right here, but the the website is called extra torrent. Dot cd. Right here up at the top. Extra torrent. Dot cd. Whoops. So what I did is I already typed in Beauty and the Beast and I hit search. There's a search button here. Since I'm running a video, some of the graphics didn't show up on the website. So I scroll down here on Extra Torrent. I'm just trying to show you how to use Extra Torrent to, if you're new to it and you don't know how it works. Go down here and scoot this over a little bit. So there's all these listings of the movie Beauty and the Beast. And these are the torrent streams. First thing you should look at is right over here, the size of the file. Um, I normally look for files that are about 800 megabytes. If you get something like this one right here is 2.69 megabytes, or excuse me, gigabytes, that will take a long time to download. I normally get a file maybe in this size, 947 megabytes. That would generally take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes um, to download it. So in comparison, this one's uh, nine, 947 megabytes. The one right above it is 1.96 gigabytes. So that's twice the size. It will take two times the amount of time to download this first video stream rather than the second one. So you've got all these streams down here and over here in this column on the right but the top they list the health of the file and um, this site hasn't been up too long. Normally these are all green all the way down and I think the reason that the health of the site isn't listed as all green is m many of them haven't been used a lot of people don't even know this site's back up yet because it went down for a while. So there you go. You type in, you go to extratorrent.cd, type in your movie that you want up here, then you'll hit uh, search, then it'll pull up your search results. Um, <clears throat> and I forgot to mention, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You can hit this column that I'm at right here is not showing up right. It's, there's supposed to be a graphic here and it's supposed to say seeds. Those are this number down this whole column is how many people are sharing that file. So I always look for um, ones that have a lot of seeds. It doesn't have to be 9,000 but something like a hundred. If you get one that's got uh, you know, like four seeds, there's a high possibility that it's going to take a long time to download because you want as many seeds as possible. Seeds, again, is the amount of people that are sharing that particular file. So in this case, just looking at these, which one would I select? I stream from my laptop to my TV set using Chromecast. Um... And I don't worry about the picture quality. 
I just look for the size of the video. And this one right here is good, 947 megabytes. This one would be good, one megabyte. It's about the same size. Maybe even this one down here at 952. So I look, I look. Normally I look for something around 800. So anyway, after you do that, you want to download the torrent link. That would be this column right here. Oops, this column right here. You hit that, and it will download in the lower left-hand corner and normally it downloads to your download files so that's extra torrent let's see what happens if we go to a different torrent uh, website this is called I don't even see it listed this is called sky torrents here's the website right up here skytorrents.im I typed in Beauty of the Beast, I hit enter, or I hit search torrents, and this is what I got down here, all these. Um, sometimes these are rated with thumbs up and thumbs down. First thing I look for is the size, and that's in this first column right here. And I'll, I don't want two megabytes, that's way too big. It'll take half hour to download, maybe. This one is possibility, 400 and, or 947 megabytes. That one's good. This one's a possibility. This one's a possibility. I try not to download anything that's, you know, like one and a half megabytes. It's just too big. And normally, I, I want to download something, just one movie a night, so I want to make it quick and get it over with. Um, what else? Over here very important are the seeds so not only do you want to look at the size of the file you want to also let's say I select this file based on the size next I want to see how many seeds it has well this one has 5,000 <coughs> 5,000 plus so I know for a fact there's gonna be no problem um, downloading it I'm not gonna run out of people that are sharing it it's got 5,000 people that are sharing it Um, generally, Sky Torrents, this site, doesn't list as many files as Extra Torrent. Um, and I could be wrong, maybe that's just for the older movies, because I watch older movies too. Seems like I could be wrong, because normally the um, movies that just came out, like Beauty and the Beast just came out, so both websites extra torrent and sky torrent it will probably have a lot of these torrents listed now how do you download it let's say I pick I select this one right here and this is the one I want this go all the way over here there's a little green arrow that points down you click on the green arrow there and it will download down over here probably in your downloads um, files so that's it we went through um, how do you find new DVDs or find them for the month of May or previous months. These are the release dates. I found this is the best way to find them. You can go to Rotten Tomatoes and stuff like that, but this just lists all everything that come out comes out. So that I think that's a lot better. And we went to Extra Torrent, found out some things about the file size, the amount of seeds, and how to download it. And then we went to Sky Torrents, found out about the where the size of the file is, how many seeds there are, and how where to click to download it. The next thing I'm going to show you here is what I use to download my. Uh, movies to this is called micro torrent or some people call it U torrent because it looks like a U it's actually the sign for micro but over here all your uh, all the different things you can look at 
if I want to see all the movie files that I've got, I click the All button, and it shows me all these files. And they're listed. I, I clicked on the size, so they're listed by size. So if I want to share these files, all I have to do is click on it, right click it. I think I right clicked it. Hold on. There we go. And then I would hit start and it would share it on the internet. Right now I don't have unlimited internet. They, I'm, I think they have me capped at one terabyte. So I used to share all the time when I had unlimited, but now I'm just downloading. I'm not really sharing that much. So um, let's click over here to the downloading. If I wanted to download a movie, I'd click there and make sure that I was on my torrent site and then I'm gonna go off the screen a little bit here and click the file button and then I go down to open and it may take a second here but it should open where my torrent files are in my downloads then hold on one second here we want downloads yep <laughs> and then this is a torrent file I can't remember which one you would click which torrent you wanted which one you just downloaded then you go back over here click open and then it would show up right here right here and it would show you um, how many seeds there are it would show you the download speed right here you could go over here and you could select whether you wanted to see uploads and downloads. <clears throat> if you're just downloading, you click the download speed. And then it'll, it will show you graphically how fast you're downloading. That's good because if you get a movie that's downloading real slow, then you just go back to your torrent site. Extra torrents or sky torrents and pick a different movie that's got more seeds or that you think will download quicker. So that's just a quick look at micro torrent so I'll get that out of here next I wanted to show you one of the best probably the best media players on the internet it's called VLC media the reason I say this is the best is if you just download a movie and then you click on either Windows, a Windows uh, operating system or an Apple operating system some of the files on um, the movie files, both the video and audio, won't play automatically for Apple uh, software or for uh, Microsoft software, Windows Windows software. So VLC plays just about everything. I, I don't think I've found a movie that didn't play. So I pulled up the player here. Let's say I wanted to um, find a movie. So I'm going to go off screen here a little bit. I'm going to go to my file button, click file. It's taking a second. I'd hit open file and it opens my video folder and then I've got all these I've got videos in here not a lot I recently went through and cleaned them out right, you just select a video then you hit open and it will launch in the um, video player. Let you see here. Oh, hold on here a second. Okay, so that's the uh, VLC player. Skip the head here. Another thing you might want to know about VLC player is um, once you get it playing, if you're casting it to a TV set, you have to go up to the Windows or Window file, hit Track Selection. Track Selection, you want to hit the Up button to make it 0.5 second delay so that the, the words match the people's mouse 
mouth when it's on the TV set because if you're if you're casting from your laptop to your TV there is a pause or there's a gap so you need to go into the track synchronization to, to change that and you can play it back you can pause it <clears throat> you even have a um, small equalizer here always amplified a little bit on the equalization side you can play around with that um, let's see so VLC you can download that for free micro torrent that's a free download also I think that covers it sorry this was so long hopefully I showed you some stuff that was good if you want share this with your friends